Hollywood is a place where dreams are made and stars are born. But behind the glitz and glamour, some celebrities have earned reputation for being downright jerks. Join us as Facts First presents The Biggest Jerks in Hollywood. Wait till you see number one. Charlie Chaplin. Let's start with one of the true icons of early cinema, Charlie Chaplin. The founding father of Hollywood and arguably its most famous star ever, Chaplin left an incredible legacy with classics like The Kid, The Gold Rush, and Modern Times. But behind that lovable tramp persona was a man known for his volatile temper and mistreatment of those around him. He was a notorious perfectionist who would turn hostile towards anyone who didn't give him the standard of work he demanded. Accounts from the set recall a string of unnecessary firings, incessant verbal abuse, and near-daily tantrums from the comedic genius. His personal life was just as turbulent, with multiple ex-wives accusing Chaplin of emotional abuse, controlling behavior, and rampant infidelity. Wallace Beery Sticking with early Hollywood, we have Wallace Beery, a hugely popular actor in the 1930s and 40s, who was also regarded as one of the biggest jerks on and off set. Beery was considered misanthropic and incredibly difficult to work with, often not bothering to learn his lines and instead upstaging his co-stars. Child actors like Jackie Cooper had particularly unpleasant encounters with Beery. Cooper, who made several films with him, called Beery, quote, a big disappointment, accusing him of trying to undermine his performances out of jealousy. Beery was, quote, loathed by everybody and happily oblivious. Errol Flynn Moving into the classic era of Hollywood, few stars embodied the swashbuckling hero quite like Errol Flynn. On screen, he was the epitome of dashing charm and bravado. Off screen, he was plagued by scandal and controversy. He faced multiple statutory rape trials in 1942, earning him the infamous nickname In Like Flynn. While acquitted each time, the damage to his reputation was severe. His hard-living lifestyle also took a toll on his appearance, and he was relegated to playing aging alcoholics later in his career. Bing Crosby For decades, Bing's velvet voice and warm persona made him one of the most beloved entertainers in America. But according to his son Gary's explosive tell-all biography, Crosby had a dark side he kept hidden from the public. Gary alleged his father was a harsh disciplinarian who frequently beat his children with a studded leather belt. Housekeepers even allegedly subjected the Crosby kids to the drowning treatment in the bathtub as punishment. And despite his on-screen chemistry with Bob Hope, the two were far from friends, with Hope reportedly detesting his frequent co-star. Joan Crawford Few Hollywood feuds are as legendary as the one between Joan Crawford and Betty Davis. Crawford's reputation as a jerk was cemented by her daughter Christina's infamous memoir, Mommy Dearest, which exposed the actress's alcoholism, jealousy, and obsessive cleaning habits. But Crawford's diva behavior went far beyond that. She was known for her bitter rivalry with Davis, with the two actresses engaging in a legendary feud both on and off the set of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Crawford even actively campaigned against Davis when she was nominated for an Oscar for the film, and Crawford was not. Mickey Rooney Despite his diminutive stature and seemingly affable persona, Mickey Rooney had a well-earned reputation as a Hollywood jerk. In his autobiography, he boasted about his countless extramarital affairs, even describing his first wife Ava Gardner's private parts in explicit detail. Rooney also displayed little respect for his friend's privacy, exposing his close friend Judy Garland for a short-lived affair with a woman. And as per one journalist, Rooney, quote, nearly wore out the casting couch by auditioning young actresses for non-existent roles, indicating a trend of predatory behavior. Johnny Carson For three decades, Johnny Carson was the king of late-night TV, charming audiences with his wit and easygoing demeanor. But behind the scenes, he was known for his volatile temper and competitive nature. He would fly off the handle at the most minor inconveniences, berating staff and guests with tirades of blue language. According to Joan Rivers, Carson cut off all contact with her after she got her own show, seeing her as a rival and doing everything in his power to destroy her career. Zsa Zsa Gabor for decades, Zsa Zsa Gabor was as famous for her glamour and wealth as she was for her delightfully eccentric persona. 
But behind the glitz, Gabor had a reputation for being utterly mercenary, especially when it came to her own daughter. She seemingly resented her daughter, Francesca, whom she barely acknowledged when she was no longer a cute little girl. When Francesca's billionaire father, Conrad Hilton, passed away, he left her only a small inheritance, which Gabor offered little help in fighting for. As a result, Francesca lived out her final years penniless. Gene Kelly As one of the most legendary dancers and choreographers in Hollywood history, Gene Kelly's name is synonymous with incredible physicality and athletic grace. But his co-stars knew a different side of Kelly, one that often left them battered and bruised. Dancers who worked with Kelly frequently came home covered in bruises from his rough rehearsal style. But even more shockingly, he was accused of donating money to the provisional Irish Republican Army in the 70s, telling their leader the funds were, quote, for guns rather than any humanitarian efforts. John Wayne Few actors are more iconic to a particular genre than John Wayne is to the Western. The Duke was the embodiment of rugged American masculinity on screen. Off screen, however, he harbored some very problematic personal views. In a notorious 1971 Playboy interview, Wayne voiced beliefs in white supremacy, claiming he didn't support African Americans holding public office until they were, quote, educated to a point of responsibility. He also publicly denounced homosexuality and infamously tried to physically confront Sasheen Littlefeather when she took the stage at the Oscars on behalf of Marlon Brando's Native American protest. Milton Berle for a time, Milton Berle was one of the biggest stars on television thanks to his pioneering variety series. But the comedian, known as Uncle Milty to millions of viewers, had a much darker reputation behind the scenes as an inveterate joke thief. He earned the unfortunate nickname the Thief of Bad Gags for his penchant for stealing material from other comedians without remorse. His off-putting behavior even led to a lifetime ban from hosting SNL after a disastrous 1979 guest stint where he tried to take over the entire show. Frank Sinatra Frank Sinatra's near-mythical career spanned six decades, multiple artistic mediums, and countless iconic recordings and performances. But for as celebrated as Old Blue Eyes was professionally, his personal life was just as well known for its many scandals and controversies. He had ties to organized crime figures and a volcanic temper that frequently got him into trouble. He was also a notorious womanizer who engaged in numerous affairs even as his respective wives raised his children. The crooner's anger issues extended to reporters as well, with Sinatra involved in several physical altercations with journalists over the years. Marlon Brando Few actors commanded the screen with the raw intensity of Marlon Brando. His performances in classics like A Streetcar Named Desire, Viva Zapata, and The Godfather are iconic. But that brooding presence extended off-screen, too, where Brando had a reputation for being rude, arrogant, and completely indifferent to Hollywood norms. He frequently showed up late to sets, kept crews waiting for hours, and refused to memorize his lines, instead improvising much of his dialogue. He shunned personal hygiene as his career went on, and would often mutter insults at those he worked with under his breath. It was clear that genius came with a massive ego in Brando's case. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.